Hello guys, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Just going for a little walk and talk. Thought I'd stretch my legs, make the most of the sunny day because uh, you all know when you get a sunny day in the UK at this time of the year, you make the most of it because we're in the time of year where it's all doom and gloom. Early nights, early dark nights I should say. Rain, wind, it was very windy the other day. We haven't got into the snow season yet. But I'm sure that's gearing itself up to hit us at some stage. So, but I thought we'd just do a little walk and talk and have a chat. And, uh, just to talk about who I am and uh, what I'm doing on YouTube now. Um, I've decided to go on YouTube and blitz it with a lot of uh, stuff as everyone else is doing it. And I thought, why can't I do it? I travel. I've got hobbies, interests, and I watch other YouTubers telling, oh, well, not telling, but showing what their life's about, their interests and hobbies, and I do watch them. And I've subscribed to a lot of uh, channels where people are doing things that maybe at the time, uh, we're just at a park, a lovely park this place is, go for a walk around the park they talk about things that they like to do hobbies places of interest that they've been to places that maybe I haven't been to and I'd love to go and they show what it's like there or places that I have been but they're just talking about their life and uh, you know how they live it uh, got loads of squirrels here they're all scurrying around, one just scurried away in there. Hello Blackbird. Where's that little squirrel gone? He's squirreled away as they say. Yeah, so, and I find it quite interesting when they talk about what they do and where they've been and I watch videos of people just walking around, literally just walking around. Uh, they don't say a word, they just walk down the street showing it at night or showing it at a busy time and you end up watching it, just watching how the world works in different countries and how people live their lives in different countries. So it's quite interesting and I said to myself well you go on holidays, you've been to quite a few countries, you've got videos, you do things, you take videos of them, maybe not on the depth that I will start doing it now, now that I'd like to put it online, put it on YouTube and let people like yourself who may find it interesting watch it. So it's a little bit better than what I've done before that's why some of the things that I have done might not be suitable for YouTube as the videoing was a bit, mm, a bit manky, a bit, a bit off, a bit wobbly, uh, didn't describe. Have a look at this park, it's really nice. It's got all these climbing frames, a bit waterlogged at the moment as you can see. It's even got one of these, uh, I don't know what it is, oh it's not working now. You could actually go across it, obviously some, somebody decided to break it, but it was really good. I used to come down here, I would, uh, and the, with the kids when they were younger, you start from there on this 
uh, thing there that had a like a rope and you just hang on to it and it would slide you all along here right into the other end and it would stop there and then you just go all the way back on that stop on this thing here or well, step on it I should say and then you'd roll down but that's all gone that's not working but they've got other little uh, adventure things for kids to play with play on but this was the main one and they've actually broken it it's not working the actual seems like the actual uh, someone screwed it off maybe someone felt it was a bit too dangerous but it's a really nice park uh, West Harrow Park is called really nice I mean I wouldn't go in there now though look at it it's so boggy that's how much rain we had in the last few days I mean you couldn't go in there now it's all like it's like a, a muddy bog couldn't go in there but um, yeah that's what happens in the winter well autumn coming up winter everything turns a bit grotty not as nice as in the summer but yeah so um where was i now yeah so yeah i watch other people's youtube uh, stuff and i find it interesting i thought why can't i do the same thing you know i can do the same thing i could put stuff up and and if people wish to view it i don't know why i love squirrels when I see them, I like videoing them. They're the grey squirrels, though, the dangerous ones. From what I understand, they got rid of all the red ones because they're a bit more tougher, the grey ones. So, yeah, so I decided to start making YouTube videos and putting it together and chucking it online to have people watch it. And if they like it, They'll show their appreciation. If not, they'll show their disapproval in the same way. Luckily, so far, surprisingly, I've had more approvals than disapprovals. We've been to Dubai recently in May, went to the Philippines, which that video will be coming up after the Dubai video to see my wife's family in the Philippines. We were there for six weeks and uh, really enjoyed it. Had a good time catching up with everybody as we haven't seen them for a long time. My wife's mum and cousins and uncles and aunts and, you know, everyone else. So it was really good. We had a really good time. So subscribe if you wish to and you'll have a look at what we got up to in the Philippines again it was a video that I'd done more as a holiday video because I really didn't take YouTube seriously then I just done a holiday video and took a few snaps and but then suddenly I thought oh let's go on YouTube and when I checked it out I thought oh I could have done more here oh, oh I could have videoed more here Oh, we could have gone here and there and everywhere and brought more content to people that wish to see it. And we didn't because that wasn't in our mindset at the time. Our mindset was just to have a holiday and uh, take some family holiday videos and snaps and go back home. But when you start editing, you realise that Things that would have been really, really good as, you know, to put on video just weren't there. So that's definitely going to change my holiday outlook from now on. When I go on holiday, we're going to be a bit more, uh, well, take a lot more videos and show a lot more of what's going on. This park's really good. Have a look at this. It's even got a little pizzeria. 
pizzeria and coffee shop, really nice. It's got a little car park there, I mean literally little. There's not much people here. So, it's only a little car park. I think you can get a few cars in here, but obviously they prefer you to have a cycle here or walk here instead of a, but yeah, it's a really good, few little seating areas out there if you want to sit sit out here in the summer which obviously it's not summer now so it's really good you can get a little coffee there a little let's have a, yeah yeah this is inside the uh, little cafe in West Harrow Park, really nice. If you want to get yourself a coffee, they've got all the gear in here, look at that thing. Look at that coffee machine and my man's there, waiting to serve, ready to go. Yeah, it's really nice. So yeah, if you come here, just pop in here and grab yourself a coffee or something to eat. I think ice creams are gonna go down now, because it's uh, not summer anymore, but there's still some there if you want some. All right, my friend, you take care, yeah? So uh, yeah, that's it. So you can pop there. It's called Sid's Pizzeria and Coffee Shop. Really good. I'm sure you could tell I'm having a bit of trouble calling that name Pizzeria. Pizzi, Pizzeria. Jesus God. Oh boy. You could tell I'm a Cockney. I didn't say those technical words. Anyway, so yeah, this is the park. Wow, look at this. It's so big. It's got all this. This is the park. Massive place. A lot of cricket gets played in the summer. Uh, they've even got, I didn't show you this, did I? Walked out and I walked straight past it. If you want to obviously do a bit of exercise, you can come here. And get your, get your, your legs going. Oh God! Wow! Like I've got this DJI. I hope it ain't wobbling all over the place. It's supposed to be the best camera for that type of stuff. So, but yeah, if you want to come down here and do some exercise, surprising they put it right outside the uh, <laughs> the, ca the coffee shop with food and all that. So maybe they're telling you something, do some exercise, and then go and grab a coffee, something to eat, or a bottle of water. Yeah, so where were we? Yeah, so that's it really. I'm basically gonna take more videos, much more content, uh, be a little bit more professional as they say. Um, hopefully, if you have looked at my recent videos uh, of Dubai, um, you found them quite interesting. I must say, it was as I said before, I made one mistake. I took most of the video in 916 format. Again, because I didn't know I was going to be putting it on YouTube. And when I put it on YouTube, I thought, oh God, who's going to watch 916 content when it's just got black bars at the side, which I need to find out how to get rid of those. I found out you can put like a different type of coloured background. But um, I haven't done that yet. That's just the part there. Give you an idea of the whole sort of scenario. It's a massive park, really nice. So, yeah, 916, which wasn't the best format for YouTube to watch a, a long video. You know, one was 13 minutes, one was 21. So watching it in 916 wasn't good. But again, that was because I made it not for YouTube. It was just a family holiday that I was going to watch on my mobile, my wife's mobile and the kids as we watch most things on our mobile. 
this is uh, good. This is a, uh, if you wanna bring your kids here to play some tennis or whatever else they do here. It's tennis, yeah, they've got a tennis court. Not too bad. It's, well, it's not too bad. You know why it's not too bad? Because you've got nets there. You know, usually you come to a place like this and they've got no nets because they've been ripped down by some silly buggers. Because they've got nothing else to do but just be destructive. So it's great that um, these guys have got loads of balls here. So they're practicing. Wow. I think they're going to spend half the time picking the balls up. There's loads of them all over the place. I think they're being coached because that guy there could be the, the main tennis guru and he's teaching these guys that uh, as they say oh sorry I forgot to show you this bit look they've got the little basketball court here if you want to shoot some hoops that's good they've got two basketball courts here if you want to shoot some hoops so yeah it's quite it's quite, um, what's the word? Got quite a lot of facilities here. For a park is really good because usually you go to some of them, they've got nothing. But this one's really comprehensive. That's it, comprehensive. You've got basketball, tennis, training, coffee shop, kids play area, football pitch. I'm sure you can play football on these pitches as well as cricket so it's really really good so yeah guys uh, my content uh, suits you and you like watching it I'm here I'm on YouTube now uh, I'm gonna start knocking out more content um, Whatever I can find, I'll video and, oh God, look at this. Here we go. This looks a bit messy. It's a bit messy here and I don't know how to get out of it. It doesn't look too good. I didn't come in the park to go home with loads of mud on my shoes. So I'm going back because there's no way I want to go through that just have to find a good spot to hopefully go through it's not too waterlogged as you can see it's been raining quite heavily the last few days and today's been one of the better days obviously nice and sunny not too cold well it's not cold really at all really you still got to wear a jacket but it's not cold but it's nice and bright sunny and blue skies as you can see but obviously it was raining so heavy that it's still waterlogged still got water there so yeah if you like my content by the way I'm videoing with my new DJI Pocket 3 just got it last week I put a video up I think an unboxing video it wasn't very good but anyway I'm going to look back on it in the next few years and go oh god did I do that but hey I had a few views on it didn't have any bad comments so that's a good thing so um, yeah just a quick unboxing just of the G DJI Pocket 3 which is a very very good camera uh, lucky I picked up on it on YouTube that uh, not just vloggers but nearly everybody's start, you know buying one and I thought well, what's this because I'm just using my mobile and then I thought oh, let me get that I watched a few YouTube videos and I ended up getting it and wow I went to Diwali on the 12th of November at the Swaminarayan Hindu temple oh I love her wet area here that I need to navigate don't want to get my shoes all muddied up 
Yeah, I went to the Swaminarian Temple in Neesden. Beautiful temple, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, didn't go in, me and my boy, we queued up for a little while. And then we realised, we asked the guy and he said, oh, you can't video in there or... And I thought, oh, well, I can't wait all this time and not get a shot in there. So we decided to give it a skip. And we just walked around outside. Well, we didn't go inside when I meant by give it a skip, but we still remained there. Walked around outside, took a few shots of everybody walking around. So this is it, guys. I'm out the park now. This is the entrance. It's called, what, well, we've got the West Harrow Bowling Club, but this is the outside of it. It's got a nice entrance area. Must have had a really nice gate here back in the day, which is obviously not there anymore, but you can see the posts are still there. Must have been quite grand, had a nice, grandioso, if you want to do bowls, just call that number and you can play bowls for West Harrow Bowling Club. But yeah, it must have been quite nice back in the day. But uh, as time goes on, someone's decided to take it off and just leave the post there. So yeah, yeah, so we went to the temple and it was really good. Took some shots of, oh thanks, took some shots of uh, the outside and how many people were there. And then we went to the other side which had the tents for the free food, loads of free food, vegetarian. I should put some video of that on there. We just walked around. Uh, just watching the crowd do their thing and uh, and then we watched the fireworks afterwards <coughs> and it was very nice quite long really the video was about 15 but well, it's quite a long fireworks about 15 minute firework but I don't think it's a good idea don't get me wrong you guys can tell me would you want to sit down watching 15 minutes of video fireworks? I'm not too sure. Maybe you would if you were there. But I'm not sure whether you'd want to watch it on a YouTube video. So I only put like about four minutes worth of it just to give a idea of, uh, you know, what happened and stuff. Yeah, but this camera is absolutely great. Very, very good camera. Uh, hopefully you can, again, put in the comments whether what you can see in this video is good. And because uh, this has been shot on it. And you can tell me whether, hey, yeah, that, uh, that camera's really stepped up your game. We're looking at the footage of the uh, temple Diwali at night the 4k footage was amazing really really good it was so clear and it was quite a dark night you know night is night you're just having sort of like street lights illuminating the place but it was really clear if I'd used my mobile phone it would never have been like that and I've got the S23 Ultra which is one of the best performing camera uh, well, which has one of the best performing cameras on a mobile phone and I don't think I would have got that type of shot obviously it hasn't got a one inch sensor uh, I took some shots in Dubai at night and I was getting camera wobble and it wasn't good I didn't like it I thought oh god look at this it's got camera wobble and that was the S23 Ultra at night Nothing I could do, just couldn't pull in that much light. Got the Insta360 X3, done some 360 shots. If I moved the thing, camera wobble. Just couldn't take it, couldn't take that darkness. But now I'm confident I can hit the night scene 
Uh, and I'm going to get some really, really good shots because this thing is amazing at getting night video. Absolutely amazing. Just doing some work there. So uh, I'm thinking of getting my my missus, she wants to get a loft extension. We haven't got one. Kids are getting bigger now, as you can see. They're not, they're not little kids anymore. Well, they're still kids, but they're not small kids. They're getting to be big kids now. So I wouldn't mind getting a loft extension. I've got three bedrooms, but an extra bedroom would be nice. Um, yeah. Um, night shots are gonna be amazing with this thing so i can't wait to get some night shots out of this different places i'm gonna start venturing to well not start i have been there just haven't got it on video so it's all about going to the same places and doing the same things that i've been doing for x years but documenting it this time documenting it in a clear video so anyway guys I'm gonna leave you and let you get on with your day and watch some other YouTube content of which I hope you enjoy you all take care until next time bye